Good morning, everyone. How's it going? Bruise FPV here. I've got some interesting stuff to kind of share with you guys today. Uh, but first of all, if you're new to the channel, then thanks very much for stopping by. Think about liking, subscribe, subscribing, all that fun stuff. Uh, predominantly in the past, I've done a lot of RC stuff with drones, uh, so FPV. Uh, but I have done some uh, jets as well. So I've got this EDF jet behind me. Uh, but if you've clicked on this video today, it's probably because you're here for the RC drift. Um, so I've recently purchased an RC car. Well. It wasn't a purchase, it was actually a trade. I traded uh, one of my old um, FPV basher drones and um, a Tiny Hawk 2 uh, for this um, this drift car, which we'll get to in just a moment. Um, you know, it's uh, I think it was a pretty fair trade. Um, it's not something that I probably would have got around to buying initially because uh, drift cars can be quite expensive and I'm not an expert on this so what I'm about to show you may be good maybe rubbish you guys have to let me know down in the comments below but uh, um, yeah just want to say thanks to you for tuning in and let's go ahead and check out the car Q -tracks. Okay, so let's have a quick look at it on the bench here. Um, so it's definitely not in the cleanest condition. It's definitely second hand, as it's, you know you can clearly tell. Um, I can give it a clean up, but uh, you know I've just been having some fun driving it around in the uh, on the path just outside my house. It's pretty quick. Um, obviously, with these slick tires, you can't get too good of traction. But it is an all-wheel drive vehicle, so you know. You, your traction's there if you're pretty easy on the throttle and sort of ease up to top speed. Uh, the motor, from what I can tell, is a pretty decent uh, 2S capable motor. Um, I'm not familiar with what the ESC is, um, but it has got a fly sky uh, receiver. So, um, yeah, it's uh, definitely, from what I'm told, because um, I did share this uh, a picture of this on a drifting site, um, it looks like an old school. Uh, touring car chassis which has kind of been mm, I don't know if it's been converted or if they have just slapped some slick tires on it uh, but it, it definitely initial uh, intention was not for drifting in mind but it, it does a pretty good job of it um, you know I'm no expert at drifting but it's definitely given me a taste for for what drifting can be and um, yeah so I guess my plans for this um, you guys saw the the body already it, it's very nice it looks pretty good um it's a little bit beat up partly by myself um uh, but obviously it wasn't in perfect condition when i got it so my plan is probably to uh put uh, a new body on it i want to do some custom you know design and make it look like a, a bit more of a drift car um so that's going to be a pretty fun project once i get around to it um i've got another project in the works as well uh which um I'll talk a little bit about now I suppose it's um, my brother has a Tamiya uh, was it Tamiya TTO2 chassis with the Italian um, sorry Ferrari Italia 458 um, shell and he's bought the Liberty Walk body kit and he's given it all to me to try and put together paint up and um, you know I've never done any of that before but he thought that I would probably be better at it than him so uh, we're gonna go ahead and give that a try um, but yeah, that should be a good fun. Um, let me know what you guys think of the car, the chassis. Um, it's kind of hard to talk about something I don't know too much about. So um, I guess that's it for me, guys. But thanks very much for tuning in. If you guys uh, have any tips and tricks about RC Drift, then please let me know. Until next time, guys. Thanks. <laughs> 